All right, well, September is basically on its way. And I've got a game to play called Kaboo, the Tree Spirit. This is a game I received via Steam Curator, so the developer basically sent me a copy to basically try. And plan to see how it basically goes. Alright, so credits. Do 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 do. We're super making it. Alright, so. Made by Jerome LaBelle. Programming comments by uh, Samayan LaBelle. And then there's the RP place involved. It's made by Kickstarter, so. Something to keep in mind. There's just the backwards here. Billy Bird, Tree Spirit. A special thanks, University of Toronto, GGC members, 2016 to 2023, PPSoft, Toronto Video Games Development Meetup. And there we go. Thanks for playing. Okay, return to menu. So, we have a general resolution here, vertical sync, or stuff like that. Sound and music, currently space is set to half. I like that, by the way, not having it like, blasting at you, so always nice to see. There's the gameplay, so we'll see if there's a tutorial or not for that stuff. There's keybinds, difficulty, default mode, colors, visual effects. Alright, well, file one, no runs recorded. Uh, I don't believe I've actually started up this game before, so. Interesting. Kind of can't delete the save, by the way, so. In the center of the world lies the ancient tree, the origin of life itself. I like how they got, like, you know, and actually, like, you know, press this to continue. Surrounding it, the ancient forest is home to animals and plants imbued with magical powers. That was until humans came into the forest, seeking to use its resources to grow and expand their own nations. With the power of technology, they demolished much of the ancient, ancient forest wildlife. Blah, ancient forest wildlife. You are the last tree spirit who once inhabited the ancient tree. Now, you defend your home with the last animal guardians and push the last remaining hunters away. So, A and D to move. W jump. Alright. W, um, w mid-air to double jump, so... Let's see on the triple jump. One, two, three. This is a triple jump. Press shift to dash. Dashing will briefly make you invulnerable. Uh, kind of odd using the shift there, so... Why is it not the space bar, I guess, is the thing. What's the space bar used for? Interact. Hey, Kobu. Check out what I just forged. Alright. Pretty cool, right? You won't believe the kind of junk these humans leave behind. How about giving give them a test run for me? See which one feels right for you and switch them up if need be. You'll be needing to practice for what's to come. So sword, the melee standard, both intuitive and immensely versatile, no infusion. Boomerang, fire a boomerang that returns to you, striking again on the way back, or the lightning orb. 
Press to move the orb to you, dealing more damage to further travels. What's this do? Uh... Okay, I guess. So it's basically, like, you know... That's how that works. Here's a sword. So you got basically some leap pattern here. And there's the boomerang. Press tab to learn more about your current weapon. Weapons will have animal infusions and later unique upgrade paths. Alright, so weapon ability, boomerang, fire a boomerang or turn to you striking back um, again on, on the way back. Try hand a glowing circle to perform critical hits. So I'll base that right there. Very simple. I know somebody say you hang it twice there. You know, this like seems like an interesting weapon, but I'm not really sure how it's gonna play out, so let's grab this. Next room. Remember to use shift to dodge the incoming attacks. Again, why is it not using spacebar, I guess? Wow, the humans are big. Alright, well, the humans are, you know, giant. Oh, I took a hit. And that's another hit. Alright, well. That looks like a gun. She of death. I think it killed me. Complete the tutorial. All right, so this is a tutorial. All right, interact. Oh, you're alive. You still look a little disoriented. It's me, Mara. You were fighting off those humans. You had them, but then you got hit pretty hard. I fought. Never mind that, I hear more humans up ahead. Grab a weapon and fight. Botania Encyclopedia. See the flowers you've grown and what seeds you've been found. Fish finder, see what fish um, you get, you've you met. So, all right. This is like a fishing game, as well as like you know a growing game and like our stuff. Now, this is basically an action relic for the most part, by the way. So, that's just what it is. So, keep buying. Ah, so you can basically use jump with like, you know, the space bar. Interesting. I think like the dash probably be better if like, you know, he's on space bar though, so... Hmm. Oh, that's cast ability over there, so can't use that. Now let's make this a shift, make this space.
Whoop. Now I'll resume. So, Cendric Spear, level 1. Jab enemies from a distance, hovering in mid um, mid range combat. So, there's like, you know, it's the ability to step fast. Increases critical damage by 25%. Upon landing a crit, gain step fast for the next uh, half a second, blocking the next incoming attack. There's the boomerang again. Hunter 1, hitting an enemy a second time with the same boomerang deals 3% base damage and plus 50% uh, critical damage. And Inferno, gain an additional orb. All orbs deal only 61% of their base damage, so. Vaughn basically plays, you know, passively. Here's like, you know, some of her passive, I guess. You know, this might be fun to sort of like dodge him. Oh, he went down pretty quick. This is a spellcaster. Well, he's down already. So what they drop? How hard could this be? Clear the first room. Acquired. Specialist Relic. Relics passively grant Kaboo powerful boons. Press tab to learn these effects. Press space to continue. So, er, um, area of conflict. If each of your held weapons shares a class, melee range, or magic, increases their base damage and attack speed by 10%. Uh, what class is this then? Passive, maybe? Acquire an animal ability, select out free spells or skills. So, Wolf Strike, charge forward, dealing damage to enemies in your path, has free charges. Bunny Hop, passively jumping on enemies, deals damage 0.5% se second cooldown. Ca cast a hop into the air, dealing damage where you jump from. And Snake Slitter, become lightning, moving freely before you're discharging, dealing damage around you. Hmm. Let's get this one. We'll go for like a passive run here. You've acquired an ammo ability. Cast it with Q. Refill charges by dealing damage to enemies. Remember you can check your equipment with tab. Hmm. Uh, I think we're gonna go to keybinds again. And keyboard select, I'm just gonna change this maybe to like enter. Okay, interesting, got the enter thing here. For some reason, it wants to basically have, like, you know, um, other keys basically there. Let's make it O, I guess. Well, O is basically all the way over there, so. Hmm. Uh. It won't let me do Alt, but let, let me do, like, left control for some reason. Whatever, just go with enter. It, it annoys me, it basically says like enter like that instead of like, you know, having like the enter key, but whatever. Let's go. By the way, I apparently got a timer down here. Now that probably hurts me, so let's avoid that. This guy's got like, you know, something. Oh! Lightning strikes, apparently. Okay. Alright, down to go. I took some awful hits there, but oh well. Uh, Archaeologist, unlocked a pearl skill. Permanent upgrade. Bonus rooms unlocked. Search for cracks in exploration levels and break them open with your weapons to unlock secret areas. Alright. So, fade daggers. Swing quick but feeble daggers with high critical damage. Uh, Encephal relic. 
Let's hit an experience again. So shadow one. Hitting enemies grants a stack of shadow or two stacks on crit. Increases boom speed by 4% and decreasing dash cooldown by negative 4 for 2 seconds. Or poker. Deal damage when hitting with the very tip of the weapon. So it's a poke poke. Oh, I get a second weapon here. So you guys got like no range. Uh, that right there and it drops our weapon. Here's my spear. No, I'm not basically aiming like the melee weapons. It's like sort of a poke, and that's basically all they basically do. That's the way out. Now, is this an exploration room or something else, I wonder? Bonus room. Okay, so here's the bonus room. The back of your hand. Find your first bonus room. Tutorial. Fishing for friendship. When offering food to local sea life, they'll offer you trash in return. Clearing their homes of human pollution and in turn earning your precious favor. To spend. The lakes are full of interesting characters. Perhaps you'll make an unexpected pile in your journey. Press enter to continue. Wait, get together guys. We have an audience. Ahem. Dear Wanderer, I am Milo. It is a pleasure to meet you. Is it makeup that makes you glow like that? I mean, you are... I'm, I mean to say, you are stunning. You, my friend, have stumbled upon the forest's greatest attraction. Reviewers are saying it's not as bad as I thought it would be at first. As well as a little preachy but mildly terrible. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to... The Traveling Rat Show. On this fine evening, we'll be showcasing Romet and Juliet. Blah. Romet and Julio. That's enough dawdling. Let's start the show. The scene is set when two star cross lovers meet in secrecy underneath a balcony. Oh, Romet, why must our love be forbidden? My family tends to wear blue clothing and yours wears red. Could they ever truly get along and put an end to their horrible poor bloodshed? I am not so sure, Julio. All I know for sure is that your human legs are so long and straight. And your voice is so smooth, and you speak in so many different tones. Which are all things a human man like me appreciate, and a human woman such as yourself. Although I am not used to your blue clothes, it matches so well with your IQ. Romat, you are tremendously kind and well-spoken. I would like to wrap my arms around you and discuss our feelings. Oh, Julio, I feel the same way. And they all live happily ever after. Well, that's what I assume. We couldn't find the rest of the script. Anyway, that's our show. Have a magical night. They did not live happily ever after. Fishing spot. Fish where bubbles are for friends and recyclables. Uh, did I do it right? Friends, not food. Hello. It is I, the hardest working fish in all the seas. I am ready to contribute. Acquired. Uncomfortable bracelet. You've cleared some human debris from the dying ecosystem. Grants to favor. Press enter to continue. You think that's all I got? I'll show you what I'm made of. Acquired. Junk filled storage container. You've cleared some human debris from a dying ecosystem. Grants five favor. Yeah. Huff huff. How's that for a haul? Now then. Back to work at sea. Fishing spot. Fish where bulbs are for friends and recyclables. Not sure what to say about him.
Down goes the wizard. Now, is she like healing, I wonder? What's her thing? Whoa! Not sure what that guy did, but it's like a sort of like, you know, thing there. Upgrade your weapons, select out free upgrades, pick up. New relic, so dual wielder. Land a critical hit with a weapon increases the damage to the other one for 25% for 5 seconds. This most of that stack, so... Maybe we'll get that. Oh, I got both of them now, so that's fine. And Magma Ore level 2, pass the Ores to player. It basically is the second, like, you know, ability here, so... Um, reduce orb speed by 25%, but increases base output by more. Orbs deal more damage at the apex of cycle, so... Oh god, I actually have like two, like, you know, Magma so... There's a whole lot of these basically, like, you know, hovering around me now. Select the Magma Ore to upgrade. So, we got Rhythmic. Orb deals bonus damage at the apex of his cycle at max horizontal distance from Kabu. Scorch, critical hit supply, non stacking burn effect to deal damage over 3 seconds. Volcanic, reduces orb speed but instantly increases base damage, so. There's Lab Rat, upgrade your first weapon, okay. So when do I heal up? I'm getting like my health back to be from. That the boss is a knight, Calvary Knight. Tutorial. Reinforcements have arrived. Bosses will summon allies at certain um, health thresholds. They'll be invulnerable to attack until their backup is defeated. Okay, so. Alright. And down he goes. Justin Champion defeat the Cavalry Knight. Or it's gonna be like grand bosses basically to go along. So, tutorial. Weapon infusions. Your weapons can now be blessed by the inhabitants of the forest. Attacks infusions to your weapons to grant them unique effects. The higher the rarity, the stronger the effect. Press enter to continue. Okay, so I can pick up like, you know, the sword here if I want. I kinda like what I'm doing with like the, you know, this bouncing around like, you know, passes here, but whatever. So, bear strength. Uh, increased base damage. Hmm. I don't want to go for this here, so... Snake Ambush. So... Increase base critical damage to first attack against enemies with the uh, weapons. Deals 5 plus 1 per upgrade damage damage double on crit. Did I do it right, I wonder? I think I've gotten rid of the first ability there, maybe, or... Possibly, like, you know, I did it wrong. I was supposed to click the weapons, but I, I clicked the orb, so it didn't go right. Alright, we're in the garden. Tutorial, spending favor. You've earned favor in your journey. Speak to Keddy the Turtle to redeem it. For brand new weapons, ammo abilities, infusions, and permanent upgrades, spending favor also increases your favor level, unlocking even more options than before. Watering can. Kamar flowers, grant favor, and promote growth for the next visit. Sickle. Can harvest and uproot flowers, granting favor and harvest and clearing the plot. Watering can. Okay, so I basically pick one or the other.
Uh, I guess we don't actually have anything to plant with right now, so. Bug catcher. See what insects you've caught so far. Nothing just yet. Flower dealer. Spend honor on long lasting upgrades. Alright, so 12 fear needed for level 2. Uh, currently at 12 favors, so. Wolf hunt. Base attack speed every 6 seconds. Mark a random high health enemy for 5 seconds. Your attacks with the weapons will deal extra damage to them. Uncommon. Base attack speed every 6 seconds, blah blah. So basically, you know. That's like going for high health guys, Rat Swarm. Rats, uh, deploy six rats in all directions. They last 10 seconds and deal free damage per, se uh, per second. Rat troop, the rats all fire in the same direction. They also last five seconds longer. Rat poison, rats now, um, instead deal six poison damage for six seconds. And a thing right here. Uh, swing and axe to strike damage so close, fearless. Execute, scorch, whining. So we go, we unlocked axe with leaf axe. And I can basically spend on something else here as well. And I'll go for this a little bit. So favor level 2, your force should pay you for your service. You can now unlock 5 new items and upgrades. Uh, it's still there. But I get some more stuff to get now if I want. Okay. Next room, the Fraud Temple. Die you. Ooh. So you got like a samurai. See so like the drops down like you know, stuff like that. See so like the stab, okay. So you don't want to be too close to her because you'll hit easily by those things. Scout, Relic of Conflict. Increase the attack speed based on your movement speed bonus equal to the same root, um, square root of movement speed modifier. Alright. After dodging attack, reduces dog cooldown by 30%. Haven't really been doing a lot of dodging, but you know, that's something we could do. Specialist, if each of your help weapons shares a class, melee range, or magic, Increase their base damage and attack speed, blah blah. Let's get rid of this. Okay, what I want here. So, there's a snake slitter, there's turtle cover, and there's wolf strike. So, basically, an upgrade just maybe a little bit so they like, you know, it's more. At least I just the same stuff as before, I think. Not sure how that would basically work, but okay. Well, we'll go on. So you're a dire type of character. There's a Ronin, I guess, of some sort. Whoops. I got hit by that axe there. And we got her. 
Permanent upgrade, seed pouch unlocked. You can now collect seeds for the garden. Try searching for a sparkling bush after clearing a room. Let's look for a sparkling bush, I guess. There's the fake daggers again. So leech, relic of philosophy. Damage over time effects, poison burn, etc. Grant 2% more charge. Interesting. All right, let's see here. So, let's get this, make my horse even slower, but you know, more damaging. And, look at all the damage they basically will be doing, I guess. Oh, what's up there? It got away. Catching unique insects will permanently improve your garden capabilities. When you get too close, they'll flee, so you'll have to act quick, get close to them, and press F to secret capture. Okay, so that's worth noting. Nope, there's a bonus room right there. I thought it was a crab. Kabu, I have heard about you. You are no ordinary tree spirit. Often your kind passively walks over the forest. But there is something quite different about you. I assume part of the spirit of forest resides within you. It appears the spirit of forest gave you their power of immortality. Giant spirit animals have spent years fighting against humans. Now our last hope falls to you, a humble forest spirit. As a spirit, it is your responsibility to demonstrate restraint. If you let your emotions get the better of you even for a second, your powers could become destructive. Do not let your hatred for humanity blind you. They are part of nature just as you are. Not in, I must rest. Good luck on your journey. And always remember, even in the darkest night, it only takes a teeny spark of hope. So let your way home. Alright, so. So says the deer. Fish where bubbles are for friends and recyclables. Reel in. Oh, hey. Thanks for the meal. I've got something for you in exchange. The Tool of Hierarchy. You've cleared some human debris from the dying ecosystem grants for a favor. This whole war thing, it's like a big school of piranhas. All snapping and biting at each other. Can't they just share the pond? There's plenty of mud and worms for everyone. Oh well, at least people like you are around to show kindness. Bar, you press F it basically speeds this up, so... You can do that too. Well, I don't think there's anything in the bonus room besides this, so let's get going. That's like a warlock type character. I'm sure what that guy was. I really need to do the space a little bit more to like sort of dodge these guys. Alright, Kapoor is dying. But you still have a chance to survive. If you can defeat the enemy in time, you'll gain your last life life back. Okay, so you don't merely die if you basically die, so that's good to know. Snake ambush common, uh, base critical damage, your first attack, blah blah.
Okay, so cancel. So now both of those basically have the infusion snake ambush on, I guess. Alright, select an upgrade for Bunny Hop. The cast effect instead instantly teleports you upwards, dealing damage on departure. Uh, gain additional charge. And then we can upgrade Trill Shell. Absorbing the last incoming hit blocked by its ability increases your weapon damage by you know, 30% for 5 seconds. Instead of blocking damage, slow down the attacks of all enemies for 6 seconds. That could be useful. I actually you should probably use these a little bit, whatever. Curse Prophet. I think I got hit by the trap there. Are you just going to dance if we get to soon? I think I'll watch out for that. Alright, Fate Slayer, kill the first prophet. So, Deer Cloak, uncommon. Increases base attack speed, gain 3% um, speed boost and invincibility for 2 seconds after feeding an enemy directly with this weapon and for 6 seconds after taking damage. Uh, okay. Whoops. Oh, I guess I only choose one of those, but whatever. Or did I get rid of it? I seem to be getting rid of like you know stuff you know um, you know accidentally quite a bit here, so probably need to work on that so it's not like as common. There's some tier free stuff by the way, but let's just stick with what we currently got. I like you know what I got here. Oh, we got seed. Fringe RC common. Plant this in the garden after boss fight to do a favor. I can plant stuff. Garden. So, tutorial. Gardening beginnings. Try planting your new seed in one of your open garden plots and remember to water it every time you return with nearby watering can. Do note your water supply is limited and although neglecting a flower will incur no penalty, it won't grow further on your next visit. Watering can. Can water flowers grant you favor and promote growth for next visit? Sickle. Can harvest and uproot flowers granting favor on harvest and clearing the plot? So plant is right here. So visit until grown two. War cost per visit two. Harvest favor range two to six. Minimum boost four. So I can uproot it. Two visits until grown. There's a bug pressure, missed the bug before, so we don't get the bug. And there's this guy, so let's just quickly just get this up. So Fox Heart. Um That's from Hot Hawk Cry, this is a new one. Screech loudly damaging and pairing nearby enemies to disrupt attacks just before they strike. There's water orb. A storm cloud hovers above Kaboo, periodically contra raindrops projectiles. Hold attack to pull nearby raindrops toward Kaboo. And rare infusions upgrade. Infusions now have a small chance to be rare. The chance of infusion prior being uncommon is increased. So it's from right there. The edge of the jungle.
Okay, so you got like alchemists. Ooh, you got big long strike there. We got this guy again. New relic, leech, relic of philosophy again. So, cancer replacement. Stakes cleared. Upgrade your weapons or lightning orb. So, press to move the light um, orb to you basically. So, this one we have in the beginning. It's got like, you know, the two perks on there. So, turtle bash and wolf hunt. And we're going to keep our current one. So upgrade my magnet orbs again. Uh, more orbs? And gain additional orbs. All damage deal less damage to compensate. More orbs. Is there a seed? I don't see anything else in the level. Got a crossbowman to go after. Upgrade. Ground slam unlocked. Hold down and press the jump button to slam it to the ground, dealing damage where you land. Tricking can be changed in the gameplay settings. Uh. Eh, I have no idea what that basically does. After successfully dodge your attack, gain charge. Don't want you to care, I don't think, so. Yeah, I prefer what I got here, I think, so. Alright, acquired. Parrot speak seed in common. So I can get the final upgrades here. Passly dashing. Passly dashing now instead of teleport you forward, dealing damage for you departed. Reduce cast damage by 20%, can reset within 8 seconds to teleport back to where you came from. I'm not even using this stuff, or this here. Slows down attacks for, you know, uh, longer, 10 seconds certain solo. Slows down attacks for only 2 seconds, but gains 3 additional charges. You wall jump? Ah, I missed the bug. There's a bonus room. Is this a human? so cold. I'm starting to feel sick. But I can hold out until Dad comes to find me. I hope he's alright. All the soldiers here are just wandering around like zombies. None of them will help me. I miss you so much, Dad. Please be okay. Okay.
Hey, babe. Shiny electrical chip. Okay. Grants one favor. Is it hot in here? Or is it just you make me sweat, cutie? Ha, just kidding. It's pretty hot here. Climate change moment. Also, I don't sweat. Anyway, hope to see you again. Alright, onward. Got the night again. There's a the crossbowman. Okay, you're done. There's the alchemist. Mace man. It's crosswoman again. Spell thief. After successfully dodging attack, gain more charge. Eh. Hey, look at that. Alright, so there's like, you know, weapon again, tier 5. I mean, why change what works so far, so I'll just leave it. And. Why not? We'll get Volcanic here. Acquired Andromeda Seed. Plant this in the garden after boss fight to grant favor. Oh, there it is. Machine of Death. I got hit by stuff. Oh, that's still that's pretty useful. Took in our hand died. Oh, we're not dead. They get me? I think it got me. Alright, well, this is basically a run of the game. And you start back at the beginning. Oof, you were hit pretty bad. I'm not sure how you're still alive, but you will get them in this time. There's the, like, you know, stuff I basically bought. And there's fish finder. See what fish you found. There's the bug catcher. Failed to catch any bugs just yet, but you know, they're around. I can set up a bench. Alright, well, 
Um, it's an interesting sort of like, you know, really game. Not sure what's up there, but okay. So, that's basically Kabu the Tree Spirit. And, you know, um, basically a game of Descent, and, you know, it's got a couple things I think could be, like, you know, maybe, like, um, smoothed out a little bit, like the key bindings, and perhaps, like, you know, the selecting of, like, you know, your stuff, basically. But the basic concept is basically right there. You just have to, like, sort of, like, you know, dodge and weed, sort of, like, you avoid stuff, and use your abilities to sort of help you out. So, looks like it could be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the little playthrough. Take care.